So now we know how to set up and install LiveWire. And we've also created a very basic counter component. In this video, we're going to look at how we can paginate our data using LiveWire so we don't have to do a full page refresh. So over in our terminal, let's create a component for our users table. So we do a PHP artisan LiveWire colon make. And I'm going to call this list users. And that creates our component and our view for us. So under app HTTP, I'm just going to open up this list users. And then inside of here, we need to pass the users down to the view. So just like you would normally in a Laravel project, just like you would in a normal Laravel project, you can pass the data down to the view however you want. So after the view here, I'm going to pass down an array of data. I'm going to pass down some users. I'm going to get that out of the user model. I'm going to paginate this. I'm going to send down six at a time. So just like you would in a normal Laravel Blade project, you can pass the data down to the view as a second parameter. And then in the LiveWire component, you can pick up the variables that you've named the data that you're passing down. So we just open up our list users component now. That's under resources, views, LiveWire, list users. Now what we need to do is copy our table across from our dashboard and paste it into our component instead. So over me dashboard.blade.php, I'm just going to copy over my table that I've got and then paste it into the component. Now for the pagination, we can leave these links here and also for the looping of the users that for each users as user, we can leave that exactly the same because remember in our component, we're passing down users just like we would in a normal Laravel blade only project. And the final thing we need to add into our component to get this working is to let it know that we want to use pagination. So up at the top of our class, we can say use with pagination. Now, if your IDE doesn't pull this in, make sure at the top of the file, you've got use livewire backslash with pagination. And then once you pulled that in and you're using this trait, that's all you need to get pagination working with livewire. So finally, now in our UI, let's bring in this component. So inside of here, where we originally had the table, I'm going to say livewire. And I'm going to bring in that list users component. So now let's refresh in the browser and check this out. So everything looks exactly the same. We've got the exact same table that's looping over the users and it's still paginating six at a time. And we have all our pagination links down here. Now I'm going to paginate to the next page, page two again. Now watch the URL at the top. Now see the page doesn't refresh, but it tags on page equals two. So this component now knows exactly where it needs to be when it's paginating the data. So like, let's jump to page eight. And you can see again, there's no page refresh. This is all handled by Laravel Livewire. It's sent off the request to the backend. The backend Livewire component has built up everything it needs, sent it back down to the front end, and then it's displayed the table out on page eight and all the correct data that it needs to show. That's how super easy it is to add pagination to a project using Laravel Livewire.